What do we got? I have some Orville Wright memorabilia. Wow, cool. A couple of signed letters from him. Okay. And four blank pilot's licenses signed by Wright. Okay. And then another license signed by him that's for spherical balloons. The Wright brothers pretty much invented flying. They flipped a coin to see who would fly it. And uh, Orville won the toss. That's what the story is. Yeah, I would have flipped the coin not to get on the plane. <laughs> <laughs> I came down to the pawn shop today to try to sell my Orville Wright collection. I'm guessing a retail of around 4000 I come to Las Vegas every year, and it'd be nice to replenish my fund. I mean, these are cool. Where'd you get them? My godmother was part of the early aviation crowd. This guy pretty much changed the world, didn't he? Yeah. The plane they flew was pretty amazing. They built the entire plane in their garage. They couldn't find a gasoline motor light enough, so they built their own. Really? The chains that turned the props, those were from their bicycle shop. <laughs> <laughs> the Wright Brothers' first flight was one of the most important events in the 20th century. Just think about it. People have been trying to fly since the beginning of time, and the Wrights succeeded where everyone else had failed. All right, so we have on Orville Wright's letterhead. Dear Mr. Adams, I very much appreciated your telegram of congratulations on the anniversary of our first flight. Sincerely yours, Orville Wright. Porter Adams was the president of the National Aeronautic Association, which issued pilot's licenses. And uh, this was the precursor to like the FAA, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. They had Wright pre-signed blank pilot's licenses. It would have been pretty cool to have a uh, pilot's license actually signed by Orville Wright. Yeah. If you're talking about the greatest moments in history, the Wright brothers at Kitty Hawk are right up there. And aviation collectors just go nuts to have anything associated with them. How much did you want for this stuff? Right around 4000 <laughs> All the signatures almost look too perfect. Yeah, um, do you know for a fact that he signed them himself? Uh, no. OK, all right. So let me get someone down here to check these out. Sure. Um, if they're legit, we'll try and figure something out. Sounds good. All right, let me go give him a call. I've always assumed these documents are real because of the family connection. But of course, I'm a little nervous about it. So is this the Orville Wright collection or alleged Orville Wright collection? I'm a forensic document examiner, so it's a whodunit every day. It's very fascinating work. Well, Orville Wright, as you probably know, is the first man to ever fly. But what's really fascinating is it really went like 120 feet the first wow. flight. It was like baby steps in the beginning. Uh, a couple years later, they built another prototype, and they were able to fly like over 20 miles. So, But oh. uh, it was one little step at a time. It's a fascinating story all the way around. So what do you think of the signatures? Well, we're going to take a closer look. Orville Wright's signature is very valuable. Excellent. We're dealing with eight different documents and eight different signatures. I've never seen that before, so it's a very unique collection. All right, one thing we definitely want to look for is the different pressure, you know, from lighter to darker. That usually indicates uh, that it's been written by hand. Uh, pressure is light to dark. That's what we want to see. Yeah. Let's really uh, break down the signature, OK? Uh, in the capital O, we're always looking for, it looks more like a D than, than like an O. And there's a combination of the V and the I that uh, I always want to see, because that's always consistent. Well, we're moving over to the uh, licenses here. OK. It's awfully light in ink. Well, I don't know. You put the evidence together. I'm impressed. This whole thing is good. Yes. <laughs> this whole thing. <laughs> it's fantastic, really. Excellent. Sweet. What do you think it's worth? I'm telling you, I'm not kidding around. Retail-wise, all together, at least $15,000. Yes, you are the man. <laughs> <laughs> when he told me that the retail value was 15000 I started thinking about all the good things I could do with that money. Thanks, Drew. All right, guys. Thanks for calling me in. Thanks a lot, Take buddy. care. Drew, Congratulations. Thank you. All right. So how much do you want for all this stuff? He said 15, didn't he? Conservatively. Uh, no, no, that's 15 retail. That's what people ask. I think Drew's figure might have been a little bit high. I will give you $3,000 for this stuff. <laughs> Retail's really, it's all over the place. Really fancy galleries can charge really huge numbers. And, you know, I'm pawn shop downtown. By the time I sell it, 
It'll be seven or eight thousand dollars, but remember, I'm gonna have a lot of time, effort. It's got to be framed. I understand the retail part of it. Yeah. And that you've got to make money. I'm looking at five. That's like a third of the retail. I mean, how, how much does it cost to frame something? It's not only that. I mean, it, there's a whole process involved. I'm paying an employee every time he shows this to a customer and they don't buy it. I always shake hands on four. Literally, you could get this stuff at auction for like $4,000. OK, basically, you're at $3,000. I'm at $4,000. Why don't we just make a deal at $35? All right, $32. 33 Deal. All right. Good enough. All right, write them up, son. Go do some paperwork, my man. The Wright brothers are actually heroes of mine, so having this collection in my store is really cool. What a find.